Good evening. I'm Patricia Muir Bullard. I'm from Alito, Texas. I'm the president of the National Association of Royalty Owners of Texas, which is an organization that's nonprofit, educational, and are dedicated to protecting property rights, mineral rights, and the rights of all royalty owners. We represent several thousand Texans and over 4.5 million royalty owners across the United States. We're opposed to the Trans-Texas Corridor for the following reasons. This is a private contract for the foreign corporation, which only an elite group of periodes have had the freedom to look at. Toll roads will be built with private funding, and private vendors will have a monopoly on commerce on the Trans-Texas Corridor. Free enterprise apparently is for sale to the highest bidder. Property rights are in jeopardy. Once the TTC Tier 1 is in place, then Tier 2 comes into play. Fair market value, text dots, not real fair market value, will be offered. And if someone declines the text dot offer, then condemnation and eminent domain take over. This is legalized theft. <laughs> Economic and emotional losses will be great. Thousands of acres will be eaten up by this process. Many communities will be bypassed, isolated, and not have the opportunity to profit from this endeavor. Loss of land and loss of income will be tremendous for these folks. Many rural communities and landowners are older and dependent upon this income. Many of these folks have wanted to own this land for generations and had to pay the taxes on it for many generations. It's not right to take their heritage away from them. <laughs> Homeland Security. Our southern border is already difficult to protect from drug trafficking, illegal immigration, and terrorism. The Trans-Texas Corridor will only multiply the already burgeoning law enforcement nightmare. We as landowners, mineral owners, and royalty owners are offended by this process. It exhibits a tremendous amount of disrespect for our Texas heritage, the trials and tribulations of generations of hardworking Texans. We own this land, you don't. Yes. To coin a phrase, don't mess with Texas and don't mess with Texas. Yes. <laughs>